in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Today we are going to discuss a farewell to arms. This is the name of novel and the name of novelist is Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway is one of the greatest novelists are produced by America. He occupied the most important place in the world of American literature and is called the spokesman of the last generation. Throughout his novels, he tried to show the loss the First World War has caused in social, moral and psychological spheres of human life. He has also he has also reveals the horrors, the fear and the uselessness caused by the war. He has put into his novels the precise feelings, longings and frustration that are typical of the lost generation. His major works Hemingway is the best story writer but achieved name and fame being a novelist. The following are his world famous novels. The Sun Also Rises, Farewell to Arms, Death in the Afternoon, To Have and Have Not, Far From, Far Home the Bell Tolls, The Old Man and the Sea. However, of these most prominent novels, A Farewell to Arms, The Old Man and the Sea, and For Whom the Bell Tolls are the most popular novels. As the focus of our attention is Farewell to Arms, so let us discuss the most important points of it. Introduction to the Novel the novel earned the author great fame. The novel depicts human conditions, despair and dissatisfaction of man. Hemingway has heightened the tragic effect of the novel within irony and symbolism. When he was writing the novel, he faced tragic situations in his life. One was that his second son was delivered with caesarean operation of his wife and the other was his father's suicide. Even in his love he experienced good and bad results. The title of the novel The title of the novel has been borrowed from the poem of George Payne. The poem is addressed to Cohen. Elizabeth and in the poem an old knight says farewell to arms and takes to prayer, prayer. By the end of the novel Frederick Henry also bids farewell to arms to war and returns without love his beloved being dead perhaps only seek refuge in prayers to God. Not only hero but Italian soldiers also bid farewell to to the war and throw rifle throw away rifles. So this shows fierce criticism of war throughout the novel. The second point is plot and the theme of novel. The theme of the novel is farewell to arms. Now here arms means weapons of war and the arms also means hands of the beloved. So it is a novel of love and war. The plot of the novel is constructed on the dramatic lines. The novel is divided into five books. The first part of the book presents various sceneries and sets a stage for the tragedy. The appropriate background of the novel are the appropriate background of the war has been created through climate, the weather, the mountains and the plains. The first part pictures the war 
and Frederick Henry and Catherine Barclay meet each other and their love and intimacy increases. Frederick, an American volunteer serving in the Italian ambulance has been wounded in his leg and Barclay is serving as a nurse in the hospital in which Henry is admitted. In book two, love between hero and heroine is the central theme. There are clergymen and doctors. Catherine is afraid of death in rain and Frederick also is terrified by the thought of death. He goes to the front and it is learned that Austrians are to launch their attack. The third book takes us to Caporito. The Austrian soldiers have reached Caporito and carried their reckless destruction. There is a final there is a final threat. Henry has been suspected to be German spy and he wants to desert army to escape the torments of the Italians. In the fourth book, Henry goes to meet Catherine at Estressa. He is united with her, but the war has not ended. They have migrated to Switzerland. In the fifth book, Catherine undergoes a Caesarean operation and a dead child is born resulting in her death. Henry is the sole survivor who is left in despair and disillusionment with marks of war, war wounds on him. There are two plots and Hemingway successfully carries out them from the beginning up to the end. The one plot is concerning with love and the other dealing with war are beautifully interwoven in the novel. Henry's involvement in the war and love are simultaneous. There's no superfluous matter in the novel. Everything has been built in a compact manner. The novel is like a classical tragedy. It has a beginning, a middle and an end. The novel is a tragedy. Hemingway called it his Romeo and Juliet. Symbolism and Naturalism in the novel. A farewell to arms is blend of naturalism and symbolism. Hemingway has not only portrayed war, death, sex, love and religion, but also has intensified the effects of his writing through his use of symbols and ironies. Mountains are symbolic of dryness and comfort, whereas the plain represents the rain and the folk. The home concept, for example, is associated with the mountains, with dry, cold weather, with peace and quiet, with love, dignity, health, happiness and the good life, and with the worship, or at least the consciousness of God. The not home concept is associated with the low plains, with rain and fog, with obscenity in dignity, disease, suffering, nerv suffering, nervousness, war and death, and with irreligion. Rain has also been used as a symbol. Every time there is a disaster, whether consciously or unconsciously, it is accompanied by rain. When Henry is wounded, there is a threat of rain. When there is a retreat, there is a rain. When Henry and Catherine separate in Milan, there is a gusty wind accompanied by rain. The lovers escape from Stressa across the lake is in rain. Henry leaves Catherine in the hospital in rain. So rain is a symbol of human misery and disaster. Naturalism 
and realism of Hemingway can be seen in the story. The theme, the characterization and the language of Nolan. Other one, it is in the biological trapping of the hero and the heroine. Henry and Catherine both have been biologically trapped by the war, by their love and by death. This biological trap reminds us of the element of determination and pessimism in the naturalistic fiction. The death of the heroine takes place because of some biological defect and not because of any supernatural intervention. Autobiographical element. Hemingway has incorporated his personal experience as a war soldier in the First World War in a farewell to arms. His protagonist, Henry, has much of Hemingway. He himself, like a Henry suffered a leg injury in the war and was sent to Milan for treatment and recovery. It was in the Milan hospital that he fell in love with a young American nurse, Agens, whom he has painted in the novel as a Catherine Barclay. The silver medal that Henry gives in the same as Hemingway got for the courageous role he played in saving an Italian who was wounded during the offensive. The description of the Italian retreat were born out of his own observation of the real of the real life. Like Catherine Hemingway's wife, Pauline also had to undergo a caesarean operation. Henry's and Catherine and Catherine's visit to Switzerland is also born out of a personal experience for after his first marriage Hemingway too had gone to Switzerland with his first wife and son. But the novel is not pure autobiography. Hemingway has followed an objective method for presenting subjective experience and has made his accounts more beautiful with his imagination and artistic gifts. Philosophical and Religious Content Critics have found philosophy and religion in a farewell to us. As mentioned by Wegen Kant, Hemingway never wanted to write about everyday life, the poor, dear, foolish life that Howells loved so much. Instead, he wanted to concern himself with the ultimate crisis of human experience to surprise the human soul, if there was a soul, naked as it faced up to ultimate challenge. In this case, in this unceasing preoccupation with the problem of conduct, it must be admitted that those admirers are right who discern in him a profoundly moral right. Frederick, the hero, does not love God, but he is afraid of him in the night sometimes. He and Catherine cannot find sanctuary in the church. Frederick is worried when the newborn child is dead and has not been baptized. You know very well the meaning of baptize. Baptize means when? Uh, uh, means any uh, baby is born in Christian religion, then it is essential for it to be baptized in the church by the priest. But as the hero and heroine Frederick and Catherine were not married officially, so that's why they could not approach church authorities to, to, to continue the ceremony of baptized. So same was the case with, uh, means, uh, uh, Frederick. So he was, uh, so he is worried 
or when he or when he was unable to get new born baby uh, got baptized have this attitude towards religion is a modern man's attitude to religion now see the other most important points over here are the ideals there are four ideals number one the orthodox religion the orthodox religious ideal of service is that of the priest who wishes to serve god but who asserts as well as the broader concept of service when you love you wish to do things for you wish to sacrifice for you wish to serve it means that we you are orthodox or when you belong to any orthodox religion that there is only one thing and that is the that is you always believe in self and never means even expect or never even get uh, try your level best to get from the other side but you only believe in one thing that love means sacrifice in love you are required to sacrifice each and everything you wish to sacrifice for you wish to serve and the idol of service is that of patriot gino who wishes to serve his country so fully that he is willing to die for it it means that patriotism requires you that you must sacrifice your life for your dear homeland for him the italian soil is sacred and death is reward means this is about the gino gino wanted uh, to sacrifice himself for the sake of his country why because italian soil he considers very much sacred so that's why he, he is of the view that uh, if he dies over there it would be great reward for him the third ideal is the code of catherine barclay which is that of selfless secular love secular love she serves her love and in such service she realizes her personal substitute for conventional religion henry has learned the priest's ideal to serve without any return in exchange the last ideal is that of surgeon dr renaldi who as a doctor wishes to serve mankind by erasing the wounds of war so these are the four ideals which are being followed by the writer in the novel and also you will find that how how do characters strongly follow all these four ideals nevertheless in a moment of despair heaven where has poised on the edge of nothingness just as the existentialists anguish anguish a universal phenomenon it means that man is bound to be annoyed means anger is one of the emotions so a person who cannot become angry uh, uh, it means that he is not normal man like the existentialist hemingway also believes that in the face of ultimate doom and extinction one must live each moment properly and skillfully now this is about the hemingway's philosophy uh, that uh, he uh, strongly follows the existentialism and uh, existentialist philosophy is that 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 you must learn a lesson to live in any situation either it may be bad it may be good it may be worse for you so that's why he uh, he is of the view that one must live each moment properly and skillfully even uh, in any situation thus in a farewell to arms there are echoes of existentialism 
also. So I think that uh, you might have got uh, the message and these are the most important points of the novel which I have discussed before you and uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure that it will help you a lot especially in the completion of your assignments and uh, if you still feel any difficulty anywhere uh, then uh, you are free to call me at any moment or send me message on WhatsApp. Thank you very much and uh, inshallah see you in the next class.